Hey guys, so I am doing another um, vlog. This time it's another Miku vlog, since I haven't done Miku vlogs in a long time. And um, I recently um, dug out my Miku wig from long ago. I'm sure you remember back then. Um, and yeah, um, I was Miku yesterday for a hangout thing with friends in Stockton for a cosplay thing. And so, yeah, I just thought I'd wear it and do a video. Um, also, like, talk about stuff like Saki Anime. Um, I changed some of my cosplay plans for Saki Anime. Um, I decided to um, get a new maid outfit and upgrade my main Miku. And I'm going to be doing main Miku for Saki Anime this year. So, I decided to do that. Um, I might not do Pokemon. I'm probably just going to not do that. Even if the panel gets approved, I might just um, cancel that. If other panels get accepted, like the Dramatical Murder one and Fruits Basket, because three panels is a bit much, I think. So, um, I think that'd be a lot to do. And I don't want to be doing panels the entire con. So, I might just not do the Pokemon one. So, yeah, I'm sorry, guys, but, yeah. Anyways, um, so, yeah, I think for being one of my first wigs, I think my Miku wig still looks pretty good, as you can probably see. I, I think it still looks good. So, I mean, it's a bit tangly, but I brushed it out and combed it out. I, I, I know how to brush wigs, don't worry. So, yeah, um... I should, I need to um, replace my like detangler stuff that I use for my wigs. Um, I found out how to like make a um, de frizz detangle solution. You just mix water with lotion and then you spray it on your wig and then you comb it out. So it works really well too. I've used it a few times with other wigs and it works great. So yep. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm excited to do Miku again. And next year I'm going to finally upgrade my default Miku cosplay because I remember a long time ago like um, I commissioned that Miku costume from someone before Saki Anime back in 2009 and I mean it was okay but it was rushed and I learned a lot not to commission something so close to a con because it'll not turn out good. So unless you're like a super professional costume maker and you know that they can make it a few weeks before con but this person wasn't but I mean it because I was on a budget you know I got what I paid for so you know and it was okay at the time and I liked it and I was fine with it but it's like now now a few years have passed and it's like I missed doing Miku and I want to get a better looking Miku costume you know and I won't be commissioning it because Bodyline has a Miku outfit for a good price. And I know it's not going to look like, yeah, like it was rushed because it's Bodyline. And they're, you know, they're a costume Lolita shop. So, yeah. And I got my maid outfit from there. My maid outfit from there was really cheap, too. Because they're doing this mega sale on Bodyline where a lot of their stuff is like 10 13 bucks. So I got the maid costume for $13. So it's it's pretty awesome. I mean... For that price, for a maid outfit, and like not like a spirit costume maid outfit. I mean like a legit maid cosplay. And I think that's pretty cool. So, I mean, I went ahead and got that. So, yeah. I mean, for that price, for a, a good looking maid outfit, I mean, I couldn't pass it up. So, And I'll be giving my old maid costume to one of my friends. So, yeah. I'm, I hope... He likes it. Yeah, it, it, it's a guy. I'm not going to say who it is because he doesn't want me to say his name. But he wants to get into cross-play stuff. And I told him I would give him, like, my old maid outfit and whatnot. So, yeah, he, he said that's fine. You know, he's like, you're going to give it to me? I'm like, yeah, because I need to clear out closet space. So, yeah, I thought I'd give it to him. Plus, if I'm getting a new one, I don't really need my old one anymore. So, you know. He doesn't mind me giving it to him, though. I mean, heck, he's getting it for free, so. Yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's my only change, I think, for Zack Anime. I'm still doing Kagura. I'm still doing Drive Ton. I'm still doing Mink. I still have to fix Mink up, though. I have to finish Drive Ton. 
Um, yeah. And I'm also going to be making a leak for Miku because I can't be Miku without the leak. Because, yeah, I remember Fanime 2010, I went and I didn't have the leak. Like, I mean, I made one, but I remember I, like, left it because I didn't want to carry it with all my luggage and stuff. Um, but this time, like, when I have the leak, I'm probably most likely going to wear Miku on the first day um, of Saki Anime. I'll probably just have my leak in my bag or something. And, because I'm going to be, you know, carrying stuff. Or, like... I'll, I'll figure it out, though. But yeah, this time I'm definitely going to have a leak. Um, I, I dug out, like, some of my clay pieces that I had in a drawer. Um, I was going to use these clay pieces for a wand, but that didn't turn out. So um, I'm going to be painting them green for the top of Mika's leak. And I don't know what I'm going to make this stem with yet. I ran out of clay. Um, I might go and get some white clay, or I might use Warbler, but we'll see. I'm sure it'll turn out good, though. So, yeah, I'm going to end this here because my battery's dying on my camera. So, I hope I see you all closer to conventions and stuff. I won't be making more pre-vlogs. Maybe, I'm probably going to do a full main Miku cosplay vlog later on when I get the costume. So, yeah, I look forward to that, and I'll see you all later.